Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my last palette roulette of the year and we'll continue this series next year. I will go ahead and link a video up in the cards in regards to what this is all about. It's also down in my description box about what this series is all about for me. And for those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Donna. Thank you so much for joining me today. And for those of you who are not again, welcome. Thank you so much for continuing to support my channel. Uh, today is a palette roulette series and the palette that I used last week is this Carity Frost palette. And I'm really sad to say that I didn't get any pictures this last week of me using this palette. And there, there are many reasons why. First, I want to go in and talk to you guys a little bit about the brand. Carity is a brand that uh, I found out about really early into last year, into my makeup journey. And these palettes with 21 shadows are $28. And I thought that that was amazing. And when I first tried it, I will go ahead also and link up in the cards my Carity review that I did right after I got these palettes. When I first tried them, I thought that they were amazing. They have great pigmentation. The story behind the brand is pretty awesome. They basically take the middleman out of the system so that you don't have to pay a lot for quality shadows. And their, their shadows are pretty quality shadows. Their little statement on their website says you work hard for your money so a palette shouldn't cost an entire paycheck by selling our beauty products at a fair honest price we keep our costs low and your wallet fat for years big beauty corporations have charged a ton of money so that they can cash in on huge profits from customers like you but if you wanted high quality makeup you had no choice but to pay those prices and they sell direct to you they grow organically instead of through marketing and whatnot and they're self-funded which i thought was amazing whereas a lot of bigger brands they sell retail so they have that markup they do marketing through many channels so they have that markup they do have like celebrity endorsements so they have that markup carity doesn't and they have sales agents that are part of their overall cost of their palettes. So some palettes you're paying 42 to $65 for less shades than what you get in a Carity palette. The other thing that I thought was really cool is that the guy who started this brand started this brand because his wife was really big into, you know, beauty and is really big into beauty and needed to go pick up some new makeup and he was with her and he experienced a little bit of sticker shock when she had to pick up some new makeup products some new beauty products and he didn't think that it was awesome to have to pay that price for those beauty products with the idea in mind that he wanted to create quality beauty products for less cost he went on this venture and created Carity. The name of Carity comes from his wife's maiden name, so I thought that that was really cool. The brand is entirely cruelty free and it's mostly vegan. Some of their products are not vegan yet, but they are working towards being 100% vegan as well as 100% cruelty free. They also participate in a function called palettes for paws p-a-w-s so on their website it says we've teamed up with our local spca shelters so we can contribute to our community as well as our furry friends every month we count up the number of palettes sold and feed the animals there accordingly so carity makes an impact beyond palette for paws they donate also to aclu uh, they help with pulse relief and plan on changing up their philanthropy program once per year so they 
can help numerous causes. This is just an overall amazing brand. This is the palette that was chose for me last week. It is the Carity Frost palette. I got this one in addition to the Mattes palette at the same time. And I got it during a sale, I think last October, not this last October, but the October before that. And in which these both palettes cost me, I believe, less than $30 because I had a coupon in which I got like $10 off for buying the bundle. So each one of these palettes cost me roughly $15 and each one has 21 matte or 21 shades in it. So this is the one that I was chosen to use last week. I do have it on my eyes today. I have worn it several times. What I can say is that when I first tried this brand, I thought that these were amazing. I thought that they were hugely pigmented and since diving into other brands, I have realized that they're not as necessarily as pigmented as I thought they were in the first place, but they are beautiful shadows. I do find that they work better with a primer on your eyes than they do without a primer. There was one instance where I wore my eyeshadow. I put my makeup on at 530 in the morning every morning, and then most days I don't take it off until like 10 o'clock at night because that's when I'm getting ready for bed. These shadows did not last that long without a primer and even with a primer they still struggled throughout the day. I didn't find a whole lot of transfer. There is no fallout for the most part. They're not really chalky. They are not super powdery. They're a pleasure to put on. They work really well wet or dry. I just don't find them to be as pigmented or uh, long lasting as I did when I first started and granted I've learned a lot about myself in the last year and I've learned a lot about makeup in the last year so what I deemed to be amazing a year ago is probably not going to be the same as it is today and that's where I'm finding myself with this palette. I don't have swatches today because there's so many in this palette but I will go ahead and go through some of the shades with you. So today I have this yellow on my eyes. I also have this yellow on my eyes. So I put this on as a base and kind of put this on on top of it. I also have, let's see, I have this color on my eyes. I have this color on my eyes and I have this color on my eyes. What I found was in order to make a look as deep as I wanted it to be. I actually had to mix multiple colors in this palette to make it work and I did try and use every single color this week. This this pink shade right here is my favorite out of the entire palette. Although I believe it was supposed to be a little more red than it is. It's very, its name is Overdose, it's very much a pinky color than it is a red color. It looks like that on the eye. What I also will tell you is that even though these are frosts, a lot of them showed up more as a matte because the frostiness of it all just kind of blended away when you start blending them out. So when, once you start blending them out, they just, the frostiness of it just kind of blends away. I used, I used this color a lot as a color in my brow bone. It is a really nice, like just light pink color. I love that this has names on the package because a lot of lower cost brands don't put names on the package. It does cost a little bit more to have names on the package. It also doesn't have a mirror, which I know a lot of lower cost brands don't do because mirrors are expensive. What I do not like about this palette is it doesn't bend all the way back so you have to open it up flat on your vanity and it takes up a lot of space if you're looking at it and if you're trying to move between it and another palette you like actually have to close it and move another palette out to maybe not if you have a large vanity. My, my vanity is pretty large but it's large lengthwise, lengthwise not widthwise so I don't have enough room to have it open on my vanity as well as another palette. Some standout colors for me 
are that red that I just showed you. This blue is a really beautiful blue color. And then I also really rather like this green. That is it. And that is so super frosty. But it's so just so pretty on the eye. There you guys go. They are super pigmented shadows and I really don't have anything bad to say about this palette. What I do need to say is that I used a lot of my single shadows this week in order to help myself work with this palette because I am not one that likes to put a lot of shimmer on my eyes just because, I mean on the lid sure, but uh, up in my crease and my higher crease area no just because you know I am older I feel like that isn't shouldn't be a reason for you not to use things that you like on your face but for me and my eyes it just doesn't work well so I did use a lot of my matte singles to go into the crease areas of my face and I really wish I had gotten a picture this week but I didn't a lot of the reason is I was working <clears throat> like a workhorse this last week. I worked every single day this last week and it was like every single day this last week amongst every single day for the last few weeks. So I would just forget to take a picture until the end of the night and by the end of the night it actually looked awful and I didn't want to redo it just to get a picture and I just totally forgot honestly. With the holiday season my store was pretty hammered and I just forgot. <laughs> but today's eye look is with this Carity palette. I did use the yellows on the inner corner. Um, the more peachy, you know, color on the middle and then both of the browns that are in this palette, both these two browns, I used on the outer V just to make it, just to deepen it a little bit more. I did use this color which is called Rouge on my lower lash line and then went over it with a matte shadow from one of my singles um, just to, you know, buff it out and make it look a little less sparkly on my under eye. I didn't have a bad time with this palette. I wouldn't have any problems saying to anybody that this is a good palette. It is a good palette. If you're looking for like five hour wear time, I think that this is prime in the five hour wear time. I think that by the time I got my lunch around noon, I could see my eyeshadow breaking up. It did work better with a primer. I don't tend to use primers much these days, though. So it isn't a palette that I would ever think of decluttering anytime soon. I do love it. It did, it did serve a purpose. And I really have some shades in here that I really quite enjoy, actually. So... I think for, you know, 21 highly pigmented shades for the the cost of it all and the fact that the company is an amazing company and their philanthropy projects are so great, it's, it's well worth the cost of that palette. Let's see, is there anything else I wanted to tell you guys? I don't think there's anything else I wanted to tell you. If, if there was, I might sit it here on the screen. One thing I've been noticing the last several weeks through editing is there is a lot of stuff that I meant to say to you guys about the palettes that I'm using that I forget in filming, and that just irritates me so bad. So, as all of you know, if you've been watching this series, I use an app on my phone called um, Decide Now. This app is kind of like a Wheel of Fortune app where you put all your palettes in here and you press the button and you spin it and it chooses for you. You can use this app for anything and this series was inspired by the palette a week or paw that Danabo does on her channel and I think she uses a different app. This one is through the Play Store for Android phones but it's the same idea as hers. So I'm going to go ahead and spin the wheel. All right, this chose the Milani Gilded Desires, which is funny because 
a roughly really new palette in my collection. Let me go get it. I will be right back. All right, this is the Milani Gilded Desires palette, and it is a palette that I was super excited to get. I've heard a lot of things, <laughs> you guys, the glare. Heard a lot of things about this palette, so I was super excited to get it. It looks very high maintenance, very, very high end on the outside, and these are the shades on the inside. I find that these are, you know, pretty neutrals. It looks like we have some pops of red and some golds in here. It also has highlights in here, so I'm actually pretty excited to use this palette. I can't wait to talk to you guys more about it next week. Thank you guys so much again for joining me today. I'm super glad that you made it, and I'm super glad that we made it through the last palette roulette of the year, and I cannot wait to talk to you about the Milani Gilded Desires palette next week. I, I appreciate so much that you guys came and watched my video today. I know that you don't have to, so it warms my heart so, so very much that you do. I hope that you liked my video enough that you'll want to give me a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel, and I hope that you liked me enough that you'll want to stick around, subscribe to my channel, visit me in the comments section. I do love getting a little bit of comments going on down there, a lot of discussion going on down there, so I hope that you'll want to stick around and I'll get to see you further in the comments section. I hope that you guys have a wonderful New Year's Eve. Stay safe and until next time guys, bye.